Good evening, gentlemen. Right, okay. Just a quick vlog. I got a parcel through the post today that was totally unexpected. It wasn't something that I ordered. To Mr. T. Wright at Smooth Model Cave. Absolutely love it. So, I was so um, overwhelmed with this, what I'm going to call a modeler's care, care package. Care package, get your teeth in. From a good and dear friend of mine, Mr. Mike Mountain. Um, any of you guys that follow the same um, modeling fraternities as myself will know exactly who Mr. Mike Mountain is. So, I got this little box this morning. I suffer with insomnia. I got to sleep about 7 o'clock this morning. And I fell asleep at 11 o'clock in the morning. The posty rattled the door. I took the package. I put it away to the side. And I was like, yeah, I've got a parcel. I actually thought it was the... Um, pop filter for my new microphone it wasn't so when I got up and looked at it I was rather presently surprised so what did I get in my little care package right okay every modeler needs a wee pack of cocktail sticks excellent I also got now bearing in mind I do a lot of um, LEDs and stuff but anyway here's here's something else a nice little brand new buffy cloth that's handy because I've got myself some of these buffing powders and stuff so that's going to be good for me what else did I get? Mm. I got ooh. I'm always cleaning out that silly aluminium tray of mine so I also got oh Christ I'm pulling these out everywhere a lot of pack of little paint mixing palettes you see those so i can i can probably be a bit more lazy in my cleanup but yeah so i've got some nice um paint mixing palettes here excuse the paint brushes in the background that's uh for another review that's all a, a different kind of stuff i'm working with this at the moment master's brush cleaner and video will come so what else did i get in the box well I also got, now, haven't tried these. These are uh, a couple of the new Ultimate um, UMP, Ultimate Modeling Products, Thinny Sticks. But they're, uh, they're really ultra thin. And there's a coarse one and a finer one. I'm used to using UMP stuff because I use my, my Buffy stick and my other Buffy stick and, you know... Um, more buffy sticks, all that sort of thing. I'm used to using those, but I haven't tried these new ones. And actually, it's making me want to go and order some. Um, so, a couple of UMP buffer sticks, the th new thinny sticks. Absolutely. I'm loving the feel of these. Because um, they're so thin they're, and not quite so much flex in them, I'm used to doing a part with the softer ones, and it maybe rounds off the edges. And these ones uh, won't because they're firmer. So I've got a couple of those, which is excellent. Right. Any of you guys that follow me know I'm into my LED stuff. So I got some heat shrink tubing, which is always very handy. And I got, oh, I'm just rummaging away in this box. There's another one. Right. Sometimes I'm putting multiple LEDs into a model. He kindly sent me um, some of those four pin computer related pins because you can pull this one off and you've got a male and a female. So you can put that in the base and that in the top and then the model comes in. Now I'm trying to do this on camera and it's not going to work. But uh, yeah, so I could have a four pin um, connection. So he sent me a few of those. Excellent. Love my, love my electric ray stuff. A couple of random items. I made myself some sprue goo with uh, some Tammy Extra Thin and some sprue and used the end of the bottle. But you're not always at the end of the bottle. Um, oh, my fingers are black. Excuse me. I'll just clean those up. Um, you're not always at the end of the bottle. Oh, where have I got this black from? You're not always at the end of the bottle when you want to need or want to or need to make some sprue goo. Um, so you won't always have a tummy extra thin bottle left. 
And I don't know where they got them, but these are like a couple of uh, standard nail varnish bottles um, with nothing in them, with the brushes in, so I can make up small amounts of sprue goo when and if I need, without waiting for my current bottle of Tammy Extra Thin um, to run out. I can pour a little bit of glue in, a wee bit of sprue in there, and make myself some sprue goo. So, there you go, simple things, you know, make your own sprue goo and a little nail varnish bottle. What else did I get? Right, okay, okay. A lot of this is maybe going to bore some of you guys. This is electrical stuff. I'll save the PS to resist ones for last. Get the camera back. Um, okay, so what have I got in here? Just threw one on the floor. Terry, pick it up. Here we go. Right. Um, we're used to um, using various different power supplies and everything to um, put LED lighting into our kits. And sometimes we actually want to conceal the whole battery pack and everything inside. Well, these are some uh, CR2032 single three volt um, battery holders. So I could hide that in a gun plan and run my wires off. Didn't actually have any of those, so sent me some of those. I love when somebody gets on my wavelength about uh, electrical stuff. Um, right, now I'm just looking here. Right, wait, LED, 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 LEDs, switch, LEDs, switch. There's another switch you sent me. Where is it? Where's it hiding? Right, okay. So, a conventional switch. Now, this is actually not this particular one, but the next one is quite exciting for me. So, um, a lot of the switches that I use in my demonstrations are a touch on light and when you touch it it's on and when you let go of it it's off these are on off switches they also seem to have um, a CR variant of electrical connector on them so a bunch of um, on off switches which I find are very useful I will find a use for those so that's those now this is the in really interesting and intriguing part Right, he sent me a little bag of these wee things. And I've never heard about these before in my life. So I'm going to pull one out. Okay. They're made of glass. Right. It looks like an in-line resistor. It's a switch. That is a switch. And how does it work? Well, oh, I'm pulling up things on my... The negative goes into one side. The positive goes into one side, other side, but the switch doesn't work until you put a magnet to it. And as soon as a magnet is applied to the little part um, within the glass bead, it switches on. Now, this is opening up all sorts of possibilities for me. For example, okay, you've got a tank. So underneath the body of the tank, you put this switch. Okay, and you put the magnet in the turret, and when the turret turns round and gets the switch, which will be under the plastic, it triggers a circuit, and the gun lights up and goes bang. Stuff like that. I mean, it's all right. It's maybe not very exciting to you guys, but I find the possibilities of these little magnetic switches really, really appealing. Um, so I've got some little magnetic switches. Um, some three millimeter white LEDs, yellow, blue, red, and green LEDs never go wrong with LEDs. So this is in my care package because I do LED lighting. Right, here's a PS de resistance, and I will be doing a product review on this next thing. Right, I have been searching for two years since I got back into modeling, especially because I do motorcycles and there's a lot of chrome in them to get a perfect chrome. Right, into the box. Here we go. Molotov liquid chrome. Right, Molotov do a range of pens um, that have this stuff in. It's an alcohol based 
um, Chrome that, um, right, I'm just going to show you. He did use it on one of his models, but just to show you, can you see that chrome effect on the lid and the top of the bottle? It's airbrushable, right? Um, it's not very hard wearing, I do know that, and it doesn't stand up to alcohol and it doesn't stand up to lacquer thinners, but it gives a really, really realistic chrome. Um, and it's airbrushable and it cleans up by X20A. <laughs> I need to do a review on this. So that's my little care package that I got from Mr. Mike Mountain. I wasn't expecting any of this. It appeared on my doorstep this morning and I'm thoroughly grateful. So just a wee vlog. It's what I got in my mailbag today. And uh, what I would call it would be a, a modeler's care package erring on the side of somebody who likes chromey stuff and likes like models up. So Mr. Mike Mountain, thank you very much. I know you're going through uh, a few hard times just now with the changes in your, your own home life. Um, really, really much appreciated. And um, I just thought I'd share it with you guys. We all sit in our houses and build stuff. See when, out of the goodness of your own heart, you, you decide to send somebody a little package, a little box, a wee box like this, with a few bits and bobs in. You really don't understand how much that can make somebody's day. So anyway, this is Terry from Smooth Workshop. I'm not going to waffle on. It was just a wee vlog. Got sent a wee parcel today. And that's what was in it. And I'm really excited about the Molotov and playing about with the electricity stuff and the other stuff is stuff I can use. So thank you very much again, Mr. Mike Mountain. And it's Terry from Smooth Workshop. And happy modelling. Bye.